Hello, everyone. Hello, teacher Benda. I'm glad you made time for cool words. Today, we are going to be learning about the sound ah at the end of the word. Yay! Woohoo! Why the excitement, Marara? Well, I've always known that I'm a special lion. And for you to teach me about my name, I am truly honored and humbled. <laughs> mm. Ma. R. A. R. A. Marara. We are going to be learning all about my name. Oh, Marara, we are learning about a different kind of the sound A. Ah. You'll see later when we get to the boat. Oh. But you're still a special lion, as are all of you, my superheroes. And you too. Now let's try some words with the sound A. Ah. Repeat after me. T I Ch A. Ah. Teacher. T I Ch A. Ah. Teacher. Teacher. Very good. R I D A. Reader. R I D A. Ah, reader. Yeah. Well done. Now let's play our thumbs up, thumbs down game. I will say a word, and if it has the ah uh sound at the end, you show thumbs up. If it doesn't, thumbs down. Now I will try the first example, the word reader. So I show thumbs up because the word reader has the ah uh sound at the end. Now it's your turn. All right, the word driver. Thumbs up. All right, driver has the R uh sound at the end and you show thumbs up. Next word, singer. Thumbs up. Absolutely right. Singer has the R uh sound at the end and you showed thumbs up. Next word, hum. Thumbs down. Correct, you are all stars. Hum doesn't have the R uh sound at the end and you showed thumbs down. Last word, leader. Thumbs up. Absolutely right. Leader has the R sound and you showed thumbs up. Oh, teacher Pendo. Yes, Marara. Can I try a rhyme with the R sound? Let's hear it. <clears throat> the runner was a winner as he ran through the banner. Oh, that's a tricky one. Can we untry it? Let's go. The, the runner was the winner as he ran through the banner. Brilliant job, all of you. Now let's turn our attention to the board. This is the letter E. This is the letter R. This is what letter? E. And this is the letter? R. When these two letters meet together at the end of a word, they make the R uh sound. They make what sound? Awesome. Very good. I love the concentration here. Now let's say some words and some sounds. I will start and you will repeat after me. S. Ing. Nga. Singer. S. Ing. Ah. Singer. Very good. Now let's try another word with the sound ah at the end. Dr. I. V. A. Driver. Dr. I. V. A. Driver. Good reading, all of you. I hope you're also reading with us at home. Next word. L. E D A Leader L E D A Leader Oh, leader! Like my father, the king of the jungle. He leads, we follow. Well, Marara, the only person we'll be following right now is Ms. Speedy in... Out there! Welcome to Story Zone. Are we all ready to read? Yes! Great! I hope you're also as excited to get reading with us. Now the first story we are going to read is titled The New Cow. Let's read together. The New Cow! Nice reading! We could read about a new cow or we could read about a new lion instead. 
Well, Marara, we will read about a new lion another day. Now, did you notice how Marara used the word or to show choice? He said, we could read about the new cow or we could read about the new lion. I choose to read about the new cow and not the new lion. I have made a choice. Now, who would like to give us a sentence using the word or? Yes, Ngongo. After class, I can play football outside or I can sit inside and read a book. That's very good. You have a choice. You decide which one to make. Do we all understand how to use the word or to show choice? Yes. yes. Excellent. Now, before we get reading our story, let's quickly look at some of the words that have been used here. The first word, driver. Now, a driver is the person who sits in front of a car, bus, or truck and controls the steering wheel. Now, this is a bus driver. Do we understand who a bus driver is? Yes! Great, hope you do too. Now, the next word, share. Now, I will share my bananas with you. I will give each one of you my bananas. I'm going to share with you. Oh, yay! It's about time. You know, I've been admiring these bananas the whole lesson. <laughs> well, you will have to wait some more. I will share these bananas after the lesson. Another example of sharing is this. Tambo, can you please share your book with me? Yes. So, Tambo has agreed to share his book with me. Do we understand the meaning of the word share? Yes! Excellent. Last word before we read our story. Waka. Now, the word waka comes from the word wak, kazi. A waka is someone who helps with the job or work we need doing. A waka is paid to get the job done. Oh, I wish I had a waka to do for me all the housework my mom tells me to do. <laughs> Marara, <laughs> you don't need a waka. You are still young and energetic and you can get all that stuff done yourself. Do we all understand the meaning of the word waka? Yes! Lovely. You're now ready to read the story. Remember to follow each of the words with your finger. Let's read. The new cow. Mr. Musa is a farmer. He plants maize and beans. He also keeps sheep and cows. Last Friday, he got a new cow. He got the truck driver to bring the new cow home. The other cows did not like the new cow. They did not want to share their cow shed. The farmer got a worker to make a shed for the new cow. The worker worked fast. He used a hammer and some nails. He made a good shed for the new cow. Today, the new cow is happy. That was a lovely read. Did you all enjoy it? Yes! Did you spot the words driver, share, and worker? Yes! Did you spot the words too? I hope you did. Now let's read another interesting story called What is a Bird? Now before we read the story, let's look at this picture. What do you think is going to happen in this story? Can you predict? Yes, Tambo? The bird is going to fly away. Aha, nice prediction. Someone else? Yes, Talash. The bird will get hurt. Oh, I hope not, but that's a great prediction. Anyone else? No, oh, Teacher Pendo. Yes, Marara. A lion by the name of Marara will eat a roasted bird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you wish. Oh, great predicting, everyone. And you? 
What do you think will happen in our story? Why don't you predict? Let's read together and see if any of them will come true. Shall we read? What is a bird? What do birds have that other animals do not? Is it the wings? No, insects have wings too. Like the bee. Is it their two legs? No, other animals have two legs too. Like the monkey. Is it the eggs? No, other animals have eggs too. Like the lizard. Is it the nest? No, other animals make nests too. Like the snake. Is it the feathers then? Yes, it is the feathers. Only birds have feathers. That was an interesting story. Did you enjoy it? Yes! Did your predictions come true? No! Not to worry. It's always great trying to guess what will happen in a story. Now let's play another game, our question and answers game. Pick a question card and answer it. Who wants to go first? Yes, Muya. Do bees have wings? All right. If the answer is in the story, thumbs up. If it's not, thumbs down. Thumbs up. All right. So the answer is in the story. So Muya, point to the sentence that shows us the answer to the question, do bees have wings? Insects have wings too, like the bee. That's right. Next question card. Yes, Ngongo. Is it good for birds to have feathers? All right, so if the answer is in the story, thumbs up. If it's not, thumbs down. Thumbs down. All right, so the answer is not in the story. But why do you think it is good for birds to have feathers? To keep them warm. Aha, uh -huh, that's right. It keeps them warm. That's one of the reasons. Oh, yeah, and they would be naked without feathers. <laughs> Yes, true, Marara. I hope you're also shouting out loud your answers from home. Next question card. Yes, Tambo? What do birds and lizards both do? All right. If the answer is in the story, thumbs up. If it's not, thumbs down. Thumbs up. All right. So the answer is in the story. So Tambo, tell us, what do both lizards and birds do? They both lay eggs. Absolutely correct. Next question card. Yes, Talash. Do other animals have feathers? All right. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up. All right. So the answer is in the story. So what do you think? Do other animals have feathers? No. Why do you say that? Only birds have feathers. Absolutely correct. Good job, all of you. And you too. With that, we've come to the end of today's Story Zone time. Why don't you all keep rereading the stories we've read today and we'll see you real soon for some more learning fun. Until then, let's say bye to everyone watching us at home. Bye! bye.